Hi everyone. Welcome to Kaoru Zoom. みなさんこんにちは。Kaoru Zoom ご覧いただきましてありがとうございます。This series is to discover what's inside of Japanese fashion magazine. We are introducing how to choose Japanese fashion magazine and every time pick up the topic to explain the content, including clothes, cosmetics, and lifestyle inside of magazine. I'm Japanese living in Japan and I connected with online with my partner Ray. He's Taiwanese living in Taiwan. Hi Ray. Hi everyone, Ray this. Ray, can you explain how Taiwanese girls follow for fashion leaders? Well sure. A majority of Taiwanese girls try to follow Japanese fashion with internet or fashion magazines. And last time Carl Sam visited Taiwan and met many Taiwanese girls. And they are so curious about Japanese fashion. Can uh can you share a little bit about it? Sure. Like, I have been visiting Taiwan several times recently, and non Japanese girls are so curious about Japanese fashions and question me about a lot like cosmetics, clothes, lifestyle, and so on.、Mm, I think what they really want is to know what is the direct Japanese point of view of fashion and cosmetics. From Japanese people. And it's because, as a category of Asian, we are very similar with the color tone of our hair,、mm -hmm. skin, and many other physical perspective points, and which is easy to follow compared with Western fashion magazines. That's true. That's why there are so many Japanese fashion magazines at the bookstore in the local like the countryside in Taiwan. That's true. Uh, since k a r u s a n talked about this topic, I also visited several bookstores in Taiwan, such as the Eastside Bookstore, c h e n p i n g Suju, j i n s t o w n also the libraries. And the, the amazing thing is, there are a variety of different Japanese magazines for women. And I kind of get lost. <laughs> That's true. It should be, because for, especially for men, it must be just amazing the variety of fashion magazines. And no way to find the difference, right? Yeah, that's true. And I bet many non Japanese people had e x p e r i e n c e like the ID. That the majority of Japanese cannot speak English well. And when we start to ask questions to Japanese English, many Japanese run away and that's o k a y And luckily, this time is different.、Uh, Kaoru san should speak fluent English and willing to share her personal point of view. As Japanese girl. And how so、uh, it's quite、uh, valuable for us. And,、mm. and how do you normally choose from many of fashion magazines? And can you share about this? Okay, thank you. But Lei, you can also be a very good English speaker though. Thank you so much. Yeah, but like for the fashion magazines, the first thing is to decide. Like which magazine to follow, and once you decide your magazine and just keep following, then like gradually you can start your styles getting fixed. The important thing is to know like each magazine has a target customer, so better know how the target customers and your following magazine is fit to your conditions or not. Wow, so many. Japanese fashion magazine has different t a r g e t customers, that's quite amazing. That's true.、Uh, that's one of the re reasons that、mm. the Japanese market is relatively high quality. Yes,、uh, we really do care for the details and more precise and like more better high qualities. So, even though we divide many categories, still each magazine creates their trends and, and their like.、Uh, Like a uniqueness in each category. s Yeah, and、uh, can you explain how to understand Japanese magazine? Because it's so many types and we kind of get lost. Yeah, that's true. So now, today, I'd like to give you some indicators to how to choose the fashion magazines. 
and so based on my series I we can divide it like into three categories one is the age and like a teenager 20 30s 40 50s and 60s plus well, yeah. even the 60s across. Yes, even the 60s. This is like our trend recently. Like uh, more and more Japanese senior is enjoying their fashions. Which is, I think it's, it's very, very good. cool. Mm, yeah, true. It's very nice. And the second is more style. Like in each age categories, from the style's point of view, it also divided into masculine, casuals, and feminine. Mm, I see. Mm, it's quite easy. And number third right. is budgeting. And okay. it, each style has the range of budgeting. So in other words, budgeting, more budgeting magazine introducing more reasonable and cheap brands in the magazine articles. Mm, so, I see, I see. So these are the three groups so you can divide it. And in the age categories, for teenager and twenties is a no no and can can. Oh, I heard about it, and uh, last time you say that the uh, majority of the Taiwanese girl following so the style like a no no and can can, and sure. so it's more focusing on this teenager and twenties. And actually, yeah. they have more Japanese fashion styles, right? Right, right. Like, uh, yeah, that's true. That's my personal impressions as well. Like, it's more a majority of the Taiwanese girls is more relatively close to this, like, a range of the targeting. So, mm -hmm. my impression is more like a Taiwanese girls' fashions is more like a college or a teenager style. Mm -hmm. Even though their their ages is actually is more than that. So, mm, that's I feel more like their fashions is more like a younger mm. rather than more adult. And yeah, they're, they're afraid to get older as well. <laughs> I see. But the, there's also a good way to get old with nicely mm, and true. stylish. So. They have to face the truth. Huh? <laughs> true. And for 30s and 40s, there is classy and bizin hyakka. And right. 50s and plus is a steki na anoshito and lady boutique. And each mm. ages, we can divide it by style, which is feminine, casual, and masculine. As you can see, this chart. Based on this theory, we created this fashion magazine mapping, like this. And in this chart, we found out the target customer of each fashion magazine. It might help you to yeah. find which magazine to fit up to you. As you can yeah. see in the chart, x-axis shows the budgeting. So going yeah. right means more high-end. And going yeah. left side is more reasonable brand. Prices, uh, right. prices the, difference. Prices yeah. difference, right. And for the Y axis, shows style from masculine, casual, and feminine. And when you go upper, means more masculine. And center is more casual, more down means more feminine. For mm, example, it's quite. Mm. Mm, it's quite. quite clear, I think. I hope so. Yeah, for example, like a Wiz is located in the budgeting and more relatively budgeting and more like um, slightly similar to younger generations, like teenagers mm. and twenties, like a college students. So mm. maybe majority of the Taiwanese girls might like this sort of magazines. I think that this chart is uh, reflects more like a dressing styles, right? Right. Uh, about the cosmetic coverage for different magazines? Oh yeah, we have a, like a specializing magazine as well, like a, like a, just more focus on the cosmetics also though. Mm. So we can Not also, true. yeah, if we really more focus on it, there is also another magazine for targeting to this. So this chart is a reference for dressing style, right. so we can find all the what kind of uh, 
your own style or your own budget for different magazines. Mm. And uh, I think the Japanese are very good in doing the marketing and making detail, which is very creative as always very impressive. Right. And can you share us how you use Japanese fashion magazine in your personal life? Okay, it's a fashion magazine is not only about fashions, but co of course like cosmetics and cuisine, like uh, what kind of foods to fall, to buy or like a uh, cook, and the lifestyle, like a uh, furniture or interior things. Mm, that's very cool. Mm. So that's why like each season has the trends of fashions and lifestyle, so which can be mm. very good to know for my life as well. So recently mm. I use Kindles to lead most of Japanese fashion magazine on, online like this. Even like oh, a Kindle is Kindle is the kind of Amazon application can use Google, right? Right. So even my iPod or my iPhones, I can use and I can read anytime, like most majority, thousands of books and also like a fashion magazine I can follow with this anytime, anywhere. Oh, that's very cool. And the last time I also used a Kindle and uh, I found a very interesting magazine. It's about the kimono fashion magazines. Right. And because many Japanese products is full of culture and can you explain a little bit about Japanese kimono and when Japanese wear kimono in the daily life and how to follow those kimono fashion? Okay, the kimono is very, has a very thousands of like history so it's really hard to explain it but there is different kinds like a formal kimono or casual kimono and we can divide it into two roughly and formals is we can wear it as a like a very like a like a lifetime's very memorial events like a wedding or like a funerals and sort of things. But for the casuals is we can wear it like for the fireworks festivals mm, or sure. summer festivals or hot springs. When we go to the hot springs, also we they can provide us like a kimonos like a yukata in the in this case, and wearing mm. and just going out to enjoy, and sort of things. I see, and about the pattern. Does it mean anything because I saw many ty different type of pattern? Yeah, true. Like uh, now we can, recently we can divide it into two. The one is more traditional patterns and the modern patterns. And the traditional pattern is like also like a taking over using the history of the kimonos and using the very typical Japanese flower like a cherry blossom or plums and sort of thing or bamboo sometimes for the men's kimonos and they in each pattern has their own wishes or messages like for good luck or be healthy or sort of things and mm. for modern patterns like a, we recently using like a western flowers we haven't had that sort of flower in in the past like a rose or ladies sort of things oh i see can i have the right more pattern it's also kind of japanese style <laughs> True. um might be you might be able to find it in the kids kimonos patterns but I don't know, actually, I don't have any experience to see sort of dry moon styles, but it might be possible. So that, mm. That's your future job and to create another fashion trend for kimono we're gonna show in the next year's fashion magazine, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. It might be possible and it might be interesting. And if you like, uh, if everyone like it, maybe we can make it for kimonos for the futures. Mm, it's very cool. It can be very interesting. And hopefully in the future, and Kaoru-san can translate more and the more Japanese mag fashion magazine for us. Since uh, the majority of them has no translations, and maybe we also can learn some basic Japanese fashion words from Kaoru-san mm -hmm. in order to understand better. Yeah, okay. And uh, maybe you can 
that speaking with today's Japanese lesson. Okay. Maybe I really hope it, this can be help to you and more better Japanese understanding. So let's start the Japanese short lessons. Okay, I'll pick up three important keywords for today's lessons. Number one is kose. Kose. It's individuality or uniqueness. Kose. And the second is fashion zashi. Fashion zashi. means fashion magazine. Fashion magazine. Fashion zashi. And number three is kikonashi. Kikonashi. Yeah, kikonashi. Like a dressing or how to dress nicely. So using this important word, I made it a sentences like fashion zashi de kikonashi o manabu. Fashion zashi de kikonashi o manabu. Learn how to dress nicely with fashion magazine. One more time. Fashion zashi de kikonashi o manabu. Okay, that's it. Um, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and if you really like our video, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you next time.